you want to create your own course but the thought of writing out your course designing your course trying to film and edit your course has you feeling stuck what if i told you you can create your very own course with only using one tool this tool has ai writing feature tons of design templates it lets you record your content with or without showing your face and you can edit your content directly in this platform and the best part of all it is super beginner friendly and it is free to use hey friends it's tisha welcome back to another video where i'm giving you the tools that help you build your digital product business so you can build the life that you deserve okay so i'm not gonna hold you in suspense any longer the tool i'm talking about is canva Canva does way more than just social media graphics. So let me show you how you can create your own course using Canva. First, we're gonna use Canva's AI writing tool, MagicWrite, to help us brainstorm some course ideas and also help brainstorm some course content ideas. From your Canva homepage, you wanna to go to the top where you have your icons and you wanna click on Doc, not Document, you wanna click on Doc. So click on Doc. And it's going to open up a Canva doc. To get started, you want to click on the plus and then you want to select magic, right? And then you want to enter your prompt to help you first start brainstorming some course ideas. And your course is basically going to be on a topic that you have experience, knowledge or skills in, and it can be on any topic. You want to just use the prompt brainstorm course ideas for and insert your topic. And once you're ready, you want to click on generate. And as you can see, it's generating some course ideas or course topics that we can include in our course. Once it's done, you want to click on insert and it's going to insert it into your doc. Now this doc is basically going to be your reference guide for your course. You can choose to keep it or discard it. It's up to you. And so here are a few ideas that Canvas Magic Write has given us. We can use mindfulness and meditation, nutrition for self-care, just a few topics. And you can choose, pick and choose which topics that you want to include in your course. Let's do a global type of ideas number one, four, six, and 10. So we're gonna go down to the bottom, hit enter. We're gonna click on the plus sign again. We're gonna click magic right. And then we're gonna ask it to create course content on the, some of the ideas that we selected. Um, and then we're gonna hit generate again. So magic right has given us the course content based on the ideas that we selected. Once you're ready, you can hit insert and it's gonna be inserted into your doc, okay? And again, this is gonna be your reference guide that you can use for your course. You can pick and choose if you wanna use this information in your course or not. The whole goal of using the AI tool is to help you brainstorm ideas, articulate your ideas, and kinda of help you streamline your information for your course, okay? Once you've brainstormed a few ideas for your course and you have your course content that you want to use, the next step is to design your course. So you want to go to the top left, click on file, and you want to click create new design, and we're going to search for presentation design. So you click on presentation and it's going to open up a new tab and bring up the Canva editor for a presentation. From inside the editor, you want to get started by choosing a slide deck template. So if you go over to the left, you can scroll through tons of pre-designed templates that you can choose from that fits your visual style. Just keep in mind that if you are using the Canva free account, anything with the Canva Pro logo, you will need to upgrade to the Canva Pro account in order to use that particular template. Okay, if you are searching for a certain theme, you can use the search bar to type in keywords. So let's say if you're looking for real estate, you can type in real estate and you can search through all of the templates that are related to real estate. If you're looking for a certain color, you can also type that color and it will populate all of the templates that have that color design. Since our course topic is self-care, let's search for self-care templates. So I've already have that pre-selected here and I'm just gonna scroll through and see what I can find that I like. Once you find something that you like, you can click on it and you can go through 
and see the different slides that are available with that particular presentation template. It also shows you the template style, which includes the color palette as well as the text or font style combo. And if you scroll a little bit more, you will see other templates that are related to the one that you like. So it kind of suggests other templates based on the template that you like so you can find one find more that you like okay once you find your templates and you're ready to get started you want to click on apply all and it's going to apply it to your editor now another thing I want to show you guys is that I one thing that I like to do is to mix and match template styles from other templates this helps you to create a unique design so let's say if i like this one and i wanted to use the about page from here i will go to my editor here add a page go back to my design here and then click on the slide that i want to add and it's going to add it to my design for me to customize and edit everything you see can be customized to fit your visual style or your brand you can switch up the font styles, you can change the colors, you can also change and switch out the images. So some of these images don't work for you. You can go back over to the left, click on elements, and then you can type and search for other images that are related to your topic. So you have access to Canva's stock images graphics and videos that you can use in your design of your course again just keep in mind anything with the canva pro logo is only available with the canva pro account okay and once you find something that you like you can just double click on it and then just drag it into place oh wait i clicked two images you can always delete anything that you don't need and you can simply just drag it the image into the area that you want it so for some more customization options, whatever you click on, the toolbar is gonna to appear at the top. So right now the background is highlighted. So this is the toolbar for the background. You can change your background color. You can add animation if that's something that you wanna do. And if you go down here at the bottom, you right click on each slide It's going to give you some additional things that you can do you can always copy and duplicate pages one thing i want to show you is your transitions you can add transitions to make your course a little bit more engaging but just don't go overboard with the animations and transitions because you do not want to distract your audience from the actual content you also can go down here to the bottom and add notes. The notes section is very helpful when it's time to present your course content, okay? Once you've added your course content and you've customized your slides to your liking, the next step is to record your course. And to do that, we wanna to go to the top right. We wanna click on present. Then we wanna click on present and record. And then we wanna click on next. And then we're gonna click on go to recording studio. And it's going to open up Canva's recording studio. From here, you want to set up your camera and microphone. So if you want to show your face, you want to make sure that your camera is selected. If you don't want to show your face, you simply just turn off the camera and your camera will not record your face and it will only record your presentation. Next, you want to make sure that you select your microphone and make sure that your correct microphone is selected, especially if you are using an external mic and not the mic that's built into your computer. Once you have your camera set setting and your select your microphone you want to hit start recording okay and you just simply go through your content that you've entered on your slides and as you go through your different slides it is going to record your slides if you put any notes on your slides it's going to appear on the right hand side don't worry this notes will not appear in the final video your notes are there just to help you present your course content now if you need to pause your course for any reason you do have the option here at the top but once you are done recording you want to make sure you hit in recording so now camera's going to give you some options for how you can sh share your video normally it will give you a public view link that you can copy and share for some reason at the time of this recording is not working so if you get this error message don't worry about it if that's something you want to use you can do that later but what you want to do is hit download. 
okay? So you wanna download your video. Before we move on to the last step, I wanna show you one last thing. If you choose to re-record your course or record additional content for your course and you use the present record option, it's gonna give you this message. So if you did not download that video, you only hit save and exit, I would recommend that you download the video because in order to continue recording or record more content, you will have to delete the video that you just recorded. So to be on the safe side, make sure that you download it prior to deleting and starting a new recording. Okay, now this last step is optional. If you need to edit your video, you can edit your video directly with Canva. To edit your video, you wanna go to the top, hit File, click on Create New Design. You wanna find the video, and it's gonna open up a new Canva editor, and you actually will have to upload your video back to Canva. So you wanna go to Uploads, upload your files, and just simply just find your video and upload it to Canva. Once your video has been uploaded, you want to just click on it to add it to Canva Editor, right click, and set the video as background. This is gonna allow your video to be formatted for a full screen. Once you click on your video, the video editing toolbar is gonna to appear here at the top. I just wanna quickly show you some of these options here. If you guys want to see a full tutorial on how you can edit videos with Canva, let me know down in the comments, okay? You can trim your video if that's something that you want to do. You have audio. If you want to extract your audio, you can do that. And you also have the option to play around with the sound and the speed of your video. These other options here, honestly, they're not really relevant for editing videos. And once you're done editing your video, you simply just go to the top right, click on share, and you wanna click download. Make sure the file type is selected as MP video, and click download, and it's gonna download directly to your computer. After your video has downloaded, you will simply just add it to the platform that you are hosting your course content. Okay friends, Canva gives you everything you need to create your course and it is super easy. So I need you to stop stressing and go create your course. Let me know down in the comments your course ideas. If you have any questions, you can leave those down in the comments as well. And to figure out and find out where you can sell your course, check out the video that is on your screen. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.